Kina here from creativekina.com and today I want to teach you how to use the Vaseline peeled paint technique to paint this old screen door. I'm going to use this as the pantry door in the Creative Custom Home Adventure. If you want to follow along in this adventure you can click on the link below this video and keep up with all of the projects that I'll be creating. So you can see here what I'll be using. I've got some different colors that I had in my stash of paint. These are all satin finishes. I've got two colors of turquoise here and I'll be using clear satin fast drying polyurethane. I've got some popsicle sticks to mix. What I want to do is use a dull or turquoise for the top coat, but I would like a brighter color showing through for the undertones. I do have a little rough chip brush here that I'll use and you can see I've got some corner straps that I bought from Van Dykes. So my goal here on this door is to actually let a, a lot of this old wood show through. So I'm not going to really paint the entire thing with solid turquoise. The effect I'm going for is I want it to look like it's been painted several times over the years and it's just kind of not really dirty but just aged and uh, with a nice patina on it. So what I want to do here is mix a lighter version of this color. This color turquoise and I'm going to use some of this lime green and kind of see what color I get. I just want it to be visually brighter than this color right here. So this will be the top coat. This is just satin interior house paint. It's been setting a while so I'm going to mix this up a little bit. This is actually a sample. And if you're doing a small project, I suggest just getting the store to mix a sample for you. That way you can get away with buying less paint. And you can afford to experiment with more colors going that route. All right, so I've got these two colors. I'm just gonna use a mixing cup. I'm gonna pour a little bit here. And a little bit here. Usually when I'm painting, I, I'm just experimenting. That's part of the fun. So now I'm getting kind of an emerald green color. Might be a little too green, so I'm going to put a little bit more blue back into it. Alright, I'm happy with this color. I actually added some more blue. Alright, so as I paint this, I want to be really careful not to get it on the screen. I don't want to have to go back and get that off of the screen later. So, I'm going to slow down as I get anywhere near the screen and really it's not important to go up next to the screen on any one of these steps so uh, what I'm going to do is just start I'm going to take a little bit of paint and I'm just going to start lightly brushing I'm going to hit the high places there might be a few areas where I get a little bit brighter but Remember, these are just going to be some undertones. I want a lot of the brown showing through overall in the end. So I'm just going to hit some of these high places with this bright color. Make it a little thicker here, possibly. Again, I just want to go really slow up next to the screen. I don't want to create more work for myself later. And if you feel like it, you can tape it off. If you feel like you might accidentally get some on there. You might think about using a better brush. This is what I have with me here at the time so I'm making this brush work but it might be a little easier if you want a little more control 
control to use a, a narrower brush that's angled like you would paint trim and baseboards with your in your house. So I got this screen door from my dad. He has a lot of cool stuff laying around and I just claimed it one day and I knew that I would use it someday for something. I have another door that I'll use with similar techniques that I'm going to use for the office nook door and that's going to be a barn slider door. All right, so I'm going to take a little bit of a walk on the wild side and I'm going to put some lime green on this door. The turquoise is still wet, so this is going to slightly blend in. So all of these undertones will show through on the top coat color. And that's the color that we'll use with the Vaseline peeled paint technique. All right, so we have the two colors here and the next step will be to take a palm sander to it and rough it up a little bit and then we'll clear coat it, and after that will be the peeled paint with Vaseline. All right, so now that the turquoise and the lime green paint is dry, I'm gonna go over it with a palm sander. This is 80 grit sandpaper. I just wanna go over it in places where it might have naturally weathered, like if it's always getting touched on the corners and the high places, then that's that's where you want to actually distress so that it looks more natural. Alright, so you can see after it's been sanded we have some more of the natural wood showing through. It just makes it more interesting, gives it a little more depth. Alright, so for the next step we'll need fast drying satin polyurethane. Whenever you buy a new can of polyurethane, you want to make sure you mix it really well because the sticky stuff caught up on the bottom. All right, so now I'm just going to apply a generous coat of polyurethane. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to cover the whole thing. What this is going to do is when I use the Vaseline, what we'll do is streak Vaseline all over the door and what the polyurethane will do is make it to where the Vaseline cannot soak into the wood. So we'll be able to paint over the Vaseline and then later wipe the Vaseline off. Where I talked about repairing the door, I brushed and cleaned off the mold. But what this polyurethane is also doing is sealing in and killing any mold that's left over in the wood. This is making the natural wood a little darker, but that's okay, that's what I'm wanting. All right, so I've got the polyurethane on 
and I'll meet you back here just as soon as it's dry and I'll teach you the Vaseline peeled paint technique. So back here now I'm going to teach you how to do the Vaseline peeled paint technique. You can use this on all kinds of furniture, mixed media art, all different kinds of stuff with the same technique. So you're going to need Vaseline or petroleum jelly as it's called, baby wipes, paper towels, water, and then the paint color. I'm using interior satin paint. I've got a color here that's called Radiant Teal Velveteen. To really bright turquoise and then I'm actually going to lighten it up. I mentioned earlier in the video that I wanted to use a dull color for the top coat but I'm always changing my mind and I figured that I'll use a brighter color for the top coat. So what you're going to do first is you're going to take your fingers and wherever you put the Vaseline the bottom paint is going to show through. So if you want a lot of the bottom paint showing through, then you're going to want to put a lot of Vaseline. So what I do is I just stick four fingers in and I'm going to start dragging the Vaseline across the surface like this. I'm going to go in the direction of the paint. If I want a lot of that brown color showing through, then I'm going to make sure that I cover that part in Vaseline. And really you don't have to think about it too much. You want to make sure that this is sanded fairly smooth before you do this. You can see how you can get some splinters using this method. Uh, ouch, see I just did it. Okay. So once the Vaseline is ready, you want to prepare the paint. And I'm going to go ahead and mix a little bit. It doesn't take much because our top coat is going to be real thin. And I'm going to add just a little bit of white at a time to try to lighten this color up. So I'm going to mix this and see what it does first. It's just, I just want it to be slightly lighter than the main turquoise color. Whenever I mix paint, I'll put the color I'm mixing in to the side and then gradually pull some of that over into the paint. liking that. Let's look at it. Okay, so it's a pretty bright turquoise color. I'll take my chances here. Alright, so the next thing I want to do, I don't want a chance getting way too much white in it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this white paint off of here. It's going to make a mess. I'm really good at making messes. Okay, so what you're going to want is a thin soupy consistency. So I'm going to pour a little bit of water. I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. You want it to where when you pick it up on the brush, it'll drip slightly. So let's test it out. I'm going to pick it up if I can. It's not coming off very easily, but I'm going to go ahead and just add a tiny bit more water, just a touch. All right. Now, whenever I'm doing a painting or anything, if I ever mix paint with my brush, I go ahead and rinse the brush out before I actually start. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna take the soupy paint and I'm just gonna lightly paint over the Vaseline. I don't want to press down very hard. That's one reason I want it to be a little bit soupy. I'm gonna add just a little bit more water to my paint. Also be kind of cool if I get some drips and splatters. What do you think, Ryder? Do you like it? I don't know. It was broke a long time ago and Papa fixed it and then now where is it? I don't know. Okay. All right. Take the soupy paint and mm -hmm. I'm I'm painting with purpose here. I know I want to keep this brown and that green, so I'm just kind of lightly dragging this over. Making sure I go with the paint strokes with the direction of the wood grain. You can put a little thicker in some areas if you want. It's really just an experiment. And you're going to have some drips, and that's actually kind of cool. Alright, so I'm going to stop there and let it dry so that I can show you the next step. Okay, so now I have all of the turquoise on. And you can see it's starting to separate wherever the Vaseline is. So you want that to completely dry. Depending on the weather, if it's real hot it might dry pretty fast, but I would wait a few hours or even until the next day. So now I'm gonna take some baby wipes and wipe the Vaseline off. It still looks like it's wet in places, but that's just the areas where there is Vaseline. So what I'm looking for is to check and see if the paint is dry on the areas that do not have Vaseline. So before I wipe with the baby wipes, I'm going to just use a lint-free cloth. I know they sell those blue paper towels that are shop towels and those are lint-free. This is just an old t-shirt rag. And so the purpose of the baby wipes is to cut through the grease. Before I do that, I'm just going to get most of the Vaseline off. And this is kind of a lengthy process. And so you can see that we're wherever the Vaseline is. 
the paint is coming off. So once you feel like you get the Vaseline off mostly, then you'll go back with the baby wipes and you'll just wipe and you know, it'll cut through the grease and get most of the grease off. All right, so you can see here that I've got a nice peeled paint look. Bob, kitty kitty. You did a good job on this door. Good job, kitty cat. Way to cheer me on. made a huge mess. I had a lot of fun and I have a really cool screen pantry door. Put the corner straps on. I'll have a nice contrast of the black metal. So if you like this video, share it with your friends. Check out the links below in the text and thanks for watching.